So good evening, Sidi Labishawi. Thank you so much for doing this for the Night of Ideas. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. I guess, I mean, one of the big challenges this year has been to try to create a form of proximity, a nearness to your audience, which is, of course, what all, you know, performers, musicians, uh, choreographers, dancers, um, yeah, everybody is, is on contrary with these difficulties. So how have you been going through that challenge? You know, how have you been dealing with it uh, in terms of the meaning of your own art? And how is that effect affected even your, your own understanding of your art? Because I think that's, that's a, a, a real, it's such a sudden change. It's like a, a form of a Copernican revolution suddenly uh, that you don't have the audience. Um, especially for you, because I, I always thought of your choreographies as being a form of interactions with your audience, of, uh, um, you know, comprising the audience within your own choreographies. So how have you yeah, been doing? I, I, Well, yeah, I think you, you uh, it's, it's wonderful what you're saying about the idea of, of nearness being, you know, uh, a desire, the desire to, to keep on, you know, finding ways to connect and finding ways to be close to one another. Um, it's, 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 uh, I don't think there is, there is enough words to describe what the, this, this does to people, you know, because it is, it's, it's so many different layers psychologically, like there is, uh, you know, there is the, the layer of the health, you know, like how healthy are you, am I, are the people around us, like, there's a concern uh, for, you know, uh, a fear of, are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Um, like just purely in, are we, are we gonna stay alive with, with what is going out there? So that's, that's one big, big element that is linked. Um, and of course, months and months passing give a certain reassurance of like, well, you know, but at the same time, the numbers aren't reassuring at all. So it's it's very much like uh, been a, a, a big, big opening of the third eye of how interconnected humanity is, you know, each human with another human, how connected we are. And at the same time, how many we are, how, how much people are there in a street in a city in a so for me it kind of like expanded my consciousness of like I always had an image of the world I had an idea of you know who who we are and who we are to one another and I realized there's so many more layers of people alive and living with us uh, and so w w what what this um, this reality has done it's kind of like opened up a lot of consciousness like on on many many uh, levels um and and the space to to interact around what we we are understanding is very narrow like it's like a very very narrow st little stream which is the internet which is you know like social media which is you know forms of that often are not totally trustworthy you know like a lot of these forms are they are uh, full of fantasy. So they are, they are full of, of fakeness, you know, as yeah. well. So, so it's very, very um, scary because you, you feel like, how can I at the same time try to look for truthfulness and for openness and for healing and for, for connecting through a, a medium that is, that is full of make-belief and full of, 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 of lies? Um, and, uh, and, and I don't want to demonize that. I mean, there's a beauty in lying, you know, theater is uh, one big lie. You know, we pretend, we, we pretend we die on stage. We pretend we are in love with one another. We pre there's a lot of pretending and it is part of the code of, of theater. So, and it is one of the reasons I love it because it, it gives you that space to, to play with what's real and what's not and, and to use your realness to create something be beyond, you know, something new. So, uh, so now we we are, yeah, we're in this very very strange spot where certain forms of communication still work, and uh, which, yeah, makes all of us kind of have to relearn our craft, 
um, make make us focus on. So when you're asking me how did I manage, like I I I've always been someone who's been very interested in you know like a, a lot of different media to to do what I do. Like I I've worked with Beyonce for video clips. I've worked with Joe Wright on movies. I've I've uh, you know directed operas or or developed ballets or so I'm. Uh, created co contemporary dance, like there's always been in me this desire to to kind of like open up. But I felt like now I even had to open up even more because certain forms have to now kind of like be digested and be remodeled in other forms. And and I miss the audience. I miss the physicality of of an applause. I miss the 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 energetic feeling of how you know people a community reacts collectively because now things are um we, we recently for jagged little pill which is a um uh, um a musical that i choreographed uh in in uh, on broadway uh for alanis morissette uh, which opened up you know in the, in in it was in december and we we kind of like played up until march and then we had to stop but then recently we did a live um a live uh, version of the like um, um, a concert version, but with some choreography still in, in it, and it was fascinating to see people interact with it in real time. So as they were watching, they were saying, "What is this? Oh, I love this version. Oh, this is." And you you could read people's comments as you were watching, and so it was this strange stream of collective consciousness, like a mixture of individual context uh, um, uh, reactions that eventually creates a collective again. Um, but uh, but it's strange, like it's really, um, it's a whole other way of, of handling feedback. You know, the same with, with uh, critics that write about your work having seen a video, but you don't know what time they saw it, what you know, what they were, maybe they were eating and maybe they saw it on a big screen, maybe just on their iPhone. You just don't know in which kind of, while the theater had this ritual of, you knew exactly what kind of night it was when they saw the opening night. You were, we were all there. It was, you know, it's like all around the campfire and that's, that's something lost right now. And, you know, trying to figure out other ways of creating uh, a, a, um, a common moment a, a moment together is has been the big big challenge um next to all the financial challenges and all the issues you know the realities of of uh you know when when you're um you know when when for especially for people who only think in economic terms because those people exist you know like there's this idealists and and wanting art or philosophy or or physical or or you know different exchanges that we're we're craving for and that I do this for because I'm 44 I've been doing this for years uh has all been transformed in like how many people are watching like it's it's all kind of transformed in a whole other uh way of 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 measuring your success and that's also been very again humbling so I think the whole thing was humbling and and I think there's nothing wrong with things that make you go humble. Like that's really for me been uh, uh, the thing that, that has been made it possible for me to, to keep going is that I'm on the right track if I'm getting more humble because of all of this. Because it, it means that I'm, I'm, I'm finding my space and my place in, in a bigger, bigger picture, um, which is what I've been doing my whole life. So this is in a way very different. And at the same time, it's what I've always had to juggle with, it's, it's just gone very, uh, it's gone a bit nuclear right now. It's like a really, like a big, big shift. Um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's changed my way of, of talking with people. It, like I've, I try to be much more open. Like I used to be more careful, I think, with what I said to people. And now I'm actually more honest because I know it could be my last day or, it, you know, like things are really like, I feel like that if that's my last words, I'd rather have them be as truthful as possible. And so it's, it's, it's given me a, uh, also 
you know, certain permissions, like I've given myself permission through, through, um, through this very, very tragic reality that all of us are in different levels um, being affected by. Bah, bon courage à vous. Merci, Et merci. Vous merci beaucoup oui. de votre... Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne soirée.